Metro Police is continuing to make sure everyone in the city has shelter as we brace for more sub-zero temperatures tonight. Yeah, today our John Duran's been talking with IMPD to see what they're doing right now to help the homeless when it's this cold outside. Frigid temperatures put everyone at risk, especially those in Indianapolis without shelter. It's a good feeling that you know you've helped somebody in that situation. IMPD's homeless unit has been out every day since Saturday, checking on known homeless camps. Officer Phil Smiley has worked with the unit 12 years and says there's about 30 camps around the city they'll check on this week. And we're pretty familiar with most of those uh, locations all over Marion County, and uh, really we focus on those that are we know are not in a good place to be out here on their own. Helping those with a lack of shelter, food and clothing, some battling mental health and addiction issues. They may be not in a place where they're thinking best for their own, their own welfare. And for me to be able to see that and help that guy survive tonight and, and be healthy for tomorrow, that's huge. I mean, I think that's uh, as a policeman, that's our, one of our number one jobs is to protect people, even if we're protecting them from themselves. Smiley says Monday he visited 12 camps and talked with six people still braving the cold. They spoke clearly. They had heat sources and uh, at that point stated they, they didn't really need anything at this time. And they'll keep checking until the dangerous cold departs. Uh, I think uh, new homeless get worried when the police approach that we're going to force them out of their camp. We're going to make them leave. And that's the last thing that we want to do. We're there, there to provide them uh, resources that they may need. In Indianapolis, John Duran, 13 News. Now, by the latest count, there are more than 1,600 unhoused uh, Hoosiers right here in Marion County. In addition to the permanent unhoused shelters around the city, the city has also opened up warming shelters. So you can find the shelter closest to you right now at WTHR.com or in the WTHR app.